dear students our next topic is about peninsular plateau okay first of all i'll tell you what is a peninsula what is a peninsula peninsula is a land with water on three sides it's a land which is surrounded by water on three sides indian penins indian plateau is also known as peninsular plateau okay now peninsula is a land which has water on three sides okay now it is a part it is a part of old landmass called gondwana land okay this part is a part of old landmass which is called gondwana land it is made up of igneous and metamorphic rocks okay rocks are mainly of three types igneous sedimentary and metamorphic igneous rocks are called as primary rocks so peninsular plateau is mainly made up of igneous rock and metamorphic rocks then lies to the south of vindhyas and satpura range it lies to the southern southern part of vindhyas and satpura range okay this plateau rise uh, lies to the south of vindhya as vindhyas and satpura range like say i'll show you children this is a vindhya and satpura range so this plateau lies in the south of vindhyas and satpura range okay now you got it now it consists of four parts we have four parts here the indian plateau the deccan plateau western ghats and eastern ghat we have four parts the indian plateau deccan plateau western ghat and eastern ghat children indian plateau or peninsular plateau begins from aravalli hills in the northwest the aravalli hills in the northwest the aravalli is from the oldest mountain system from the oldest mountain system now till south between aravalli and vindhyas range it um, the malwa plateau also lies here children you see in the figure you'll get here like here here from aravalli is till the south in the malwa plateau also uh, lies here okay then the then follow almost the parallel ranges of mountains are there vindhyas and satpura vindhya it extends from extends in the east west direction from northern boundary of deccan as you can see here vindhya range east west direction it is in the east west direction then malwa plateau also lies here then vindhya range is also there then to the northeastern chota nagpur plateau it's it's also there like see here you can see the chota nagpur plateau also lies here and see children chota nagpur plateau region it is known for its mineral deposits okay now in the western side of ravali is a thar desert you can see here it's a thar thar desert children then then we have deccan plateau okay deccan plateau see to the south of narmada river here is a narmada river to the southern side of narmada river is the deccan plateau okay see the peninsular part is divided into two part central highlands and deccan plateau okay so this is a central highland region and this is uh, this is a central highland region and this is a deccan plateau and the uh, narmada river divides central highlands from deccan plateau so to the southern side of narmada river is a deccan plateau okay to the south of narmada river is the deccan plateau largest plateau of india that is deccan plateau it is made up of lava flows which are several hundred meters thick this region is formed by the volcanic eruption so this region is formed by the lava flows when when the lava whenever the volcanoes erupt lava comes out so when the lava deposits deposit here the deposits here in in meters so this plateau is formed here okay then the northern part of deccan there are in the northern part of deccan there are various hills like raj mahal mahadev mekal hill in madhya pradesh ajanta and satmala satmala hills in madhya pradesh in in maharashtra okay deccan plateau you can see here as you can see here also it's triangular in shape children okay then 
then the next topic is about eastern ghats and western ghat eastern ghat is this side this one is eastern ghat and this one is western ghat okay run of kutch to kanyakumari is a western ghat rises uh, from the coastal plains it it has an average height of 1200 meter to 2440 meters the northern half of uh, western ghat are known as sahyadri the northern half the northern part of western ghat is known as sahyadri then western ghat have sahyadri hills nilgiri hills they are also called as blue mountains then we have anamalai kadamam palni anaimudi anamalai hills the highest uh, peak in the peninsula region then we have some plateaus also here then some rivers are also flowing here like narmada tapti they flow in bay of bengal okay then we have eastern ghats children eastern ghats stretch from mahanadi to nilgiris in the south from mahanadi to nilgiris and it is dissected by various plateau it is wider than western coastal plain then eastern ghat are not a continuous chain it is in the case of western ghat western ghat is a continuous chain it's not a east, uh, continuous chain it is broken in between they disappear about 150 km between Krish, uh, godavari and krishna valleys okay godavari and krishna valleys in between they disappear till 150 km 